Hey YouTube, it's your girl Dr. J and I thought I would do um, a quick video with my Scholastic Warehouse Sale Haul. Um, I don't know if uh, it happens in all areas, but I know in our area and there's a lot of areas throughout the country, Scholastic Books will actually have what they call a warehouse sale and they do it twice a year. And this is the time that it's in our area and it's a really good opportunity to get some books and stuff like that at a really reasonable price at our sale they had um they had things like 50 percent off of the already sale price and stuff like that um and i'm going to show you guys what i ended up getting i spent probably around about 150 dollars on the sale so let me start showing you uh this is a how to make paracord jewelry kit and it is a scholastic kit and it's really cool because it has the paracord in there and then a little instruction manual. So I got that. I got this book. It is a book about doing little like scratch off things. And I had actually bought this for my daughter before on Amazon and she really liked the book and she used all the stuff. And at the Scholastic sale, it was $5, but everything with a red tag was 50% off. So this was only $2.50. This is a little kit, it's called Sound Off, and it has a little voice recorder in here, and it talks about changing your voice. Um, the book teaches you how to um, record songs, change your voice, do all that kind of stuff with the little recorder, so I thought the kids could have fun with that. You can get your dabble to... Um, Mad Crazy Science. This is a little science, little laboratory kit. It's um, glow-in-the-dark stuff, and... I like um, buying these little kits just so that the kids can just have fun with it. If we don't have a lot of stuff planned or if I'm busy um, grading or something like that, the kids can still be having fun. So some mad science. This is a air power kit. This is a klutz book and I actually really like klutz things. Um, this one is air power rocket science made simple. And again, it's the full kit with um, everything you need to make the different projects and the instruction book that gives you lots of information about the stuff. This one is a uh, straw shooter jets and it has this little straws with it and it has a pretty good size instruction book on how to make different little jets that you power by throw blowing um, them off the little straw and it has the different types of jets you can make with it and it has uh, 14 custom straws 10 nose weights 30 fleet sheets and a stencil so there's a stencil in the back and the little sheets of paper that you use as your a little template things felted friends my kids like making like um, bags and different things with felt but this is a different kind of way of using felt that I hadn't seen before so this is kind of cool and the felt and the felting tool is included and you have enough felt to make the uh, four creatures. So I was really excited about this. This is a little teller machine. It's an ATM machine. It says the coin slot recognizes the amount of each coin. Vault at the bottom opens with your ATM card, a little fake ATM card. Keypad makes fun sounds. Bill feeder for depositing real money. Um, so you can see your account and see how much you have. But I really liked it. It was five dollars but red tag so it was two dollars and fifty cents and the regular price as you guys can twenty four ninety nine is the regular price so I got it for ten percent um as for the different books I got got fifty cents in a dream young Booker T Washington I saw this book at the sale last year and I didn't pick it up and I always regretted not picking it up so I grabbed it this year Beauty and the Beast book. This is a retelling of Beauty and the Beast. You guys can see, isn't she beautiful? Um, so I, I, I love little books like this. So I like the, the nice retelling books. Um, Fancy Nancy, my daughter really likes Fancy Nancy. So this is a new book for us. And this is kind of cool because it's like one book on this side and then another book on this side. So it's two books in one which is pretty cool. And there's little sticker sheets in there as well. I don't know. 
Angry Bird Space. Um, my kids, they like playing Angry Bird on their Kindles. And this is just some posters. And I picked it up because it was only like a dollar. So it's like 12 posters inside. So if they want to cut them up and do some arts and crafts and stuff with them, that'll be fine. This book, this is a rope. And the story, a story of the Great Migration. And it's um, a story about people moving from the south to the north, I believe. I just did a quick pre-read of it when I was in there, but... This is a book, um, it's uh, called DK uh, Super Trucks, and it was $4 tag, so it was really $2, and then my, when I got home, my kids were like, uh, we already got that book, and they showed me that they already had it, so yeah, this will be going in a giveaway pile. <laughs> they were laughing at me because I'm rebuying stuff. Building Up, this is a, a cute little book, it says a celebration of building, you guys know that um, the boy half of the Wonder Twins loves building. He is my builder. So this was a really good book for him. Introduces um, him to some of the really great um, architects and stuff and that nice little building projects. He's going to be doing his ultimate building book um, probably over the next couple of years. So uh, that's just a good thing to add to it. Under the Same Sun. This is a, a book... I had actually been um, looking at this book on Amazon quite a bit, and so I just picked it up when it when I saw it at the Scholastic um, sale. It's about um, even though some people were taking taken from the African continent um, and brought to the uh, American continent during slavery, everybody always slept under the same sun. And this is about a family where some of the family members had moved back to. Um, uh, countries in on the continent of Africa and this was their family from the United States who came to join them um, or, or visit them and how they would be visiting each other again but even when they were away they were still under the same sun very cute this is a little National Ge Geographic book on monkeys you can actually kind of find usually find these sometimes at the dollar uh, store like I mean Dollar Tree or Dollar um, some of the little dollar type stores so we've gotten some but I just picked this one up um, this is uh, Travel Size Pups, and it was a cute little book. It talks about puppies around the world and you know, where they're from and stuff. So it's, um, it's kind of a younger book, but my kids still like bubble guppies. So this is um, a little Firefighter Yo book. 101 Animal Records, and it's just you know kind of cool facts about different animals from around the world. How to draw graphic novels. My kids, sometimes they really get into uh, making their own comic books and stuff. So this just gives good information about how to draw um, your own graphic novels, which I thought was really cool. Flight School. This was a book my oldest is um, excited about because it's supposed to be a book where it says, You're in the pilot seat. How to fly a plane step by step. This is a book about how to fly a plane. And they have lots of little facts and things in there. And telling them all about planes and stuff <laughs> weird sea creatures uh, I got this book because the pictures are disgusting which is something that it always works with my kids they like seeing crazy weird kind of scary stuff so ugh, isn't that isn't that terrible isn't that terrible would you want to see that swimming next to you <laughs> um, this is a uh, heroes uh fast fact tracker heroes for all times this goes with the magic tree house book number number 51 which we don't actually have we have none of the magic tree house books but i liked it because it was a nice concise book that gave information on lots of different um history people you should know about and and i got this because you know we don't really do traditional history in our homeschool but my kids still need to know about you know particular people so this is a good little way for them to get tidbit bits about people beyond horrible histories because actually that's what we use for history. <laughs> um, uh, Geronimo Stilton. I had saw some really good feedback on Geronimo Stilton as a good book and I wished I had looked through the book before I left because I actually liked the different color and stuff in there so I would have got another book on it because they had a couple so I got but I did get this one. This is a book called Explore Lab. And it's 150 ways to investigate the amazing science all around you. So y'all know we're going to have fun with this book um, and, and learning all about scientific investigation. This is uh, Space, a visual encyclopedia. 
lots of wonderful pictures all through it so I thought this would be a fun book Smithsonian uh, geography visual encyclopedia um, my oldest is still very much into geography so I got him this book nice reference book this is a book this is a shofar and I got this it's kind of younger but I actually got it for my kids because you know we uh, celebrate the Feast of Trumpets and, and we blow the shofar and that actually looks exactly like our shofar and I like for my kids to have things books that remind them of their life so this 30 days has September cool ways to remember stuff I had looked through this real quick and I thought it was awesome good little tidbits um, like how you can remember spellings so it says accommodate always remember you must accommodate two C's two M's and an O after each um, and then address you should add the proper address for your letter to arrive safe and sound so add and then R E and then S, -S for S for safe and sound and then Miss Pell never misspells uh, more cool ways to remember stuff so that was, I think, everything that I picked up at my Scholastic Warehouse haul. And if you have an opportunity to visit a Scholastic Warehouse sale in your area, I would definitely recommend it because um, had I just bought a lot of this stuff straight out, it would have been a lot, more, a lot more than what I spent. So I was really happy about that. So hope this helps. This is Dr. J, and I'm out. Bye-bye.